Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Shiloh coming back for another video. By the way, I'm starting this now because we got a long video and we're not doing any editing, okay? Um, and I got the I got the beanie on. My hair's a mess. I want you guys to actually see my face, okay? Coming back with another video. It's been a minute and I apologize for that. It's been, it's, I finally found the motivation to start uploading. Um, you know, it hasn't been that long, but you know, I, what has it been, like five, six days? That's, it's kind of a lot, all right? I want to be more consistent than that. Um, I've just been thinking. I'm trying to do more uh, non-Madden content. So uh, I think we are in the midst of some big changes coming to the channel. Maybe coming to a new channel. I don't know. I definitely want to keep doing content. It just might change a little bit. So hopefully you guys are down for that. It's going to be a quirk. either way. If you're not down for that, that sucks. And, um, I, you know, you don't have to be down. You know, it's up to you. Shit's gonna get fun though. Shit, it's only gonna go up from here, so I hope you guys are down. My fit is so whack right now. I don't care. Okay, we got a hundred or five hundred k, hundred packs or five hundred k training, however you want to say it. My fit may be whack, but look, bro, I'm in the comfort of my own home. Like no one's gonna see me except for you guys. You guys are probably in the comfort of your own home. We're out here chilling. Okay, we don't need to be exposed to my fit. I'm looking extra pasty with the beanie on. I don't know why I'm flaming myself. Um, we got limited in packs. This is the weirdest start I've ever had to a video. I'm kind of just venting, all right? And I'm not talking about Among Us, okay? Anyway, that was cringe, but. <laughs> um, we have two limited in packs. Kurt Warner, I'll take Kurt Warner, but you know, that would be a little mid. But Chris McAllister, dog, oh, a million coins. The big Millie for Chris McAllister, and that's after tax. So far, so bad, though. We've gone through about 60K, 288s to speak of. Um, you know, obviously, we, it, all it takes is one good pull, but, yeah, nothing so far. And, you know, these packs did give me a little bit of last time. It was Justin Reed, and he was going for about 600. So, uh, you know, I'll, I would take a Kurt Warner. I'm not going to complain with anything. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, Chris McAllister going for 1.1 million, 1 million after tax. They came out with a Juju Smith today. I think I want to do gameplay with him. I don't know if I'm going to do a video on it, but I'm at least going to add him to the... Maybe I'll just do an overall gameplay video. I'll throw in uh, the Steelers theme team. I mean, we got Alan Fanica too, which, don't get me wrong, you know, Alan Fanica, great player, nice, nice upgrade. But the Steelers have one he's the only good Steelers offensive lineman so it's like like there's no Marquis Pouncey I mean no Mike Webster I, I guess those are two those are both centers but you know pick, just pick one bro like anyway um yeah I don't know it's like they kind of they recycle a lot of cards they have like one card for each theme team that they just love putting out and Alan Fanica is the one they chose for the Steelers like really that's who you chose to represent the Steelers theme team. 93. I'm not getting too excited because we honestly deserve that. Like, it's been so long. Um, shot eight, 93. I'll take that. It's a good pull. Hopefully, we can keep it up. These packs are very streaky. And but what I mean by that, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you guys already know what that is. But we'll get 20 86s, and then we'll get, like, three 93s and, like, six packs. So that's why I don't get very impatient. Like, I'm a lot more patient with these packs than I am with other packs. And it's also a training pack. We have a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just a lot more patient when it comes to training packs. 91, Drake Greenlaw. Okay, solid. Um, like, coin packs, you're losing coins by the minute. And it's, it's stressful. Uh, with these, though, you know, 5K training is, like, maybe... 8k 9k something like that I, I don't even know um my coins i don't know how many coins i even have which not not that it's a flex like because i have a lot in the binder if i had to guess depending just excluding let's say i i break even on this opening which wouldn't be surprised if we lost but let's just assume i never even recorded this video from the start we have 500k training we'll value that at 900k I could probably get two million if uh, I scrapped everything together in my binder because I have some like 95s, but 95 is like 190k now. 
I, I made some, I, I'm still gonna wait for training varieties. I think that's my only hope. But uh, 91 Shrey Hendrickson, okay. But again, um, I'm trying to think of some other cool videos. Like Madden is not gonna go away, but I, I don't want it to be, I don't wanna be gatekeeped with Madden or gatekept. I would say that's probably a better, I think that's correct grammar. I don't want to be gatekept, you know, I don't want to be stuck in the Madden realm. I kind of want to move to like maybe some IRL content. Uh, it is kind of cold down here. You know, I, I, I am from Florida, but today it's like 40 degrees out, bro. You think I'm ready for that shit? You think I'm ready for 40 degree weather in Florida? Absolutely not. Um, 86 Michael Burton, but yeah. Maybe some pack and pain would be cool. Like I, I would probably do that on stream though, just cause doing pack and pain on a video by myself be weird. That's just my, my parents, my entire bloodline would look down upon me for that. They would just be, my son's a failure. That's what they, my son's a failure. That's instantly what they would think if I did such a thing. But on stream, you know, I'd have all the boys and, and girls, you know, you never know. I think there actually is like maybe two or three girls that actually watch because I don't know. I, I just, I'm taking a wild guess, but anyway, Michael Burry, he's pulling up again. Anyway, let's pull up a 96 Chris McAllister right here. Did I say 86 or 96? I don't know, but an 86 Chris McAllister would be cool too. Maybe I pull his lower legend card. Um, all right, I don't have my glasses on, so I have to lean in to look at me. Okay, so we have six six minutes in. We're on good time now. Uh, I don't. I think this is going up Friday, either Friday morning or like Friday evening. Hopefully morning, because I want to try to get two videos out on Friday to make up for some things. Um, so this video will be going out, and also I'm trying the 88 plus packs. Whether you maybe you think they're garbage, maybe you're like, please don't do them, please they're so bad. I haven't seen anyone do them, so that's why I kind of want to do them. 93, uh, Harrison Phillips, there we go, that's something solid. Honestly, if we could walk around away with five 93s, that would be solid. And uh, if we could get a 96, I'd be more than happy. But unless they just want to give us like eight 93s, I'll take that, and then no 96s. Either way, hoping to see a 96. We saw Justin Reed last time pop out. I looked on the auction block. There's about four Chris McAllisters. I usually, I wouldn't even be comfortable, like, I wouldn't even be confident. I should say confident is a better word. I wouldn't be confident at all in pulling a Chris McAllister. But I pulled a limited last week, so, I mean, I feel like I can do it again. Um, 88 Justin right there. Now, let's talk about the predictors. This, this time around, much better. I want to say... Maybe we'll check them out at the end of the video, but it was the Bengals Chiefs one, and it was game is tied at halftime, goes to overtime. Like, obviously, that's very low chance, and I doubt that it happens, but I want to say you could only do one of them, and the payout was 170000 Now I know most of that's true. Maybe I'm mixing it up. Maybe it's not the halftime, overtime one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'll correct myself later in the video. We'll have to see. But I know one of them pays out 170000 You know, the thing could be Joe Burrow goes up to the Chiefs' sideline and, you, you know, makes out with Andy Reid. And if it said 200 k is the is the buyout, if, if, it's, if it happens, I'm buying, I'm getting that. That's too good of a reward to pass up on, okay? Um, so, yeah. That's what I think about that. High risk, no, low, very low risk. Because one token costs about 3K, sometimes even lower. I mean, people put up these 86s for four, five, 3K. So, and uh, 186 gets you two tokens. So, I would, you know, you, you'd have to feel pretty stupid if you, okay, wait, whoa, whoa. I'm not trying to buy points right now, yeah, calm down. But uh, you'd have to feel pretty stupid if you didn't, you were stingy with 2,000 coins, and you ended up, you know, missing out on a potential 170,000. So, that's that right there. You know, 
if you guys watched my playoff prediction video, it wasn't perfect, but so far, in terms of these last four teams, this is what I had. And I said Bengals, Niners, and then I went back and commented, I think the 49ers are just gonna win it all, even though I predicted the Bengals to win it all in the video. That's cheating, okay? I can't do that. Because then basically be like, oh, I commented and said the 49ers win, or, or oh, I originally predicted the Bengals to win. I'm about to go delete that comment right now. So you guys need to, this, that comment won't even be there anymore probably at, when you're watching this. I'm sticking with the Bengals. And people are like, oh, you're a Steelers fan. You can't root for the Bengals. First of all, uh, shut the hell up, okay? It's in the playoffs, bro. I can root for whoever I want because unless it's, you know, if it's an AFC North team going, obviously, like in the playoffs is different. In the regular season, I'm always going to root against them because it would help the Steelers anytime they lose. And I don't like the Bengals. Like, don't get me wrong, but I mean, look at who's left. You want you want me to oh the Chiefs? You want you want me to root for the Chiefs? The Chiefs have broken the hearts of Steelers in recent years. Um, Niners, Niners and Eagles, I could I could get behind, but um, some about Joe Burrow, man. I think he he deserves the Super Bowl, and I'm all about players getting their Super Bowls that they deserve. Um, if Joe Burrow does, I mean, because that way if Joe Burrow gets a Super Bowl, I'm like, okay, he got a Super Bowl. I can stop, you know, having this, uh, you know, like sympathy or em empathy, I should say, for him being winless in the Super Bowl or not having a Super Bowl ring. So I guess that's why I kind of want him to win, just to get him out of the way. He got his ring. Now I can start, you know, being a – I feel like it it's weird as a Steelers fan to root for the Bengals and – I usually don't root for the Bengals. I didn't root for him in the Super Bowl last year. I rooted for the Rams but because I wanted Matthew Stafford to get his ring. Um, I don't think anyone in the playoffs deserves a ring right now more than the Bengals. Like, the 49ers, actually, the 49ers, you could say, just because, you know, maybe not Brock Purdy. But even though I, Brock Purdy, how can you not love that story? But I'm just talking about um, the entire other, like, roster that went to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs and didn't get it. I would love to see George Kittle get one, Nick Bosa, Christian McCaffrey. I mean, that, that franchise is set up to win for the next th four or five years. So the window is definitely still open for the Niners, whether they win or lose. Um, but, okay, for, by the way, we need to pull a 96 if we want to make profit because the 593s is basically out the window. So let's see if we can turn up because so far we have about 35 packs left. So far, so bad, but it is what it is, man. I'm not, I wasn't expecting anything crazy, but a Chris McAllister would instantly pay for this whole opening, and then we would basically just be able to keep anything else as profit. Anyway, um, the Bengals, I think their window is still very long. 91 Hinhurst, okay. Speaking of the Bengals, there we go. Chiefs, very long. I mean, all the teams right now are going to be powerhouses. They are not going anywhere, so that's why I'm like, if any of these teams fall out, I'm not going to be, like, very sad for them. I don't think their fan bases should be very sad. Um, like, the Rams, dude, imagine if the Rams lost the Super Bowl last year. They went all out for a Super Bowl last year, and it was a very close game. They almost lost. Or not almost lost, but to win by four points, bro, and you, you sacrificed your entire future, you know, it's... It, uh, they did a bad job in terms of preparing for the future, but they got their Super Bowl, so it's not that, you know, big of a deal. They got their – obviously, maybe the Rams bounce back next year. They still have a good roster. If they can stay healthy, I could definitely see them sneaking into the wild card, but uh, Niners have that division on lock, regardless of who their quarterback is, which is an interesting conversation to have. I don't know who their quarterback is going to be, I don't know if they'll keep Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe they get someone new. I have zero clue. We're coming down to the last 100K, and I pulled my limit the last time in the last 100K. Like the video. Please send me some prayers because I need them. And we get a Spotify ad. I'm actually going to do a quick reset. Just back out. We, we need it. We need the luck. We need to see the limit is on that screen. Take a deep breath get right back into this all right but anyway talking a lot about football I love talking football right 
Who doesn't? That's the real question. Um, but yeah, I'm very tired. I all I say I think I say that every video. Like recording just makes me tired sometimes. Um, I'm really hoping the 88 plus packs are good because we didn't do very good from these, so that would be a good way to bounce back. Um, we really just need to pull. If we can pull like two more 93s and clutch up at the end. I mean, all it takes is one pull. All we need to do is pull a quick 96. Let me uh, show him the Jimmy Butler jersey, baby. Best player of all time, Jimmy Butler. Okay, that's what they call him. They're, he's the boat. Not the goat, he's the boat. Best player of all time. And, uh, okay, that's obviously a joke because we got 91 right there. But Jimmy Butler is actually my favorite player of all time. Call me whatever you want to call me. I'm original. I don't see it any other. I'm, I've been the biggest Jimmy Butler fan, bro. Uh, that's kind of a joke. I've really only, I guess, I don't know. I've always liked Jimmy Butler, but uh, I really started following Miami Heat basketball in, like, 2019, like, when Jimmy Butler went to the Heat. And, uh, you know, I lived in Ohio for most of my life, and then we moved to Florida. Was never a big NBA guy. Really liked Jimmy Butler. I'm, I had an excuse to root for a Florida team now. I jumped on the Miami Heat bandwagon. I don't care what you say. They haven't won a ring yet uh, uh, since I've been watching them, and uh, they're a very good. They're a very good team, very solid team. But um, I wouldn't call myself. I, I mean, I could have picked the Warriors. Ooh, okay, ninety-three right there. We get one more of those. I'm not feeling too bad. And uh, you know, we still have eleven packs left, so you never know what can happen. I'm, I'm really hoping we hit a window just at the end. Eighty-six Jordan Stout. Eighty-six Jordan Stout makes me consider you know committing arson okay because he pisses me off oh nine packs left and um yeah you know there should have been a prediction about andy reed and it should have been does he talk about cheese does he anything related to cheeseburgers does it happen and if you get it right you get one coin because like i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest if it doesn't happen, in fact, you should get 50 million coins. There's going to be something about Chiefs. I, I, if the Chiefs win that game, the whole, I mean, Andy Reid's just going to be like, dude, he's about to go eat a cheeseburger right after the game. He's going to eat one during the game. He's going to eat one before the game. He, Mike McDaniels was vaping on the sidelines. And Andy Reid probably has a cheeseburger vape. I'm just, I'm going to be honest. I'm letting you guys know now. I don't know why I have a glass of milk in here. I was I was just eating some chocolate earlier. We'll take a sip of the milk, all right? Maybe it juices the... Shout out to It's Dom, you know? Milkman always delivers. So maybe... Let's see what he can do. He gets us an 88 Taron Johnson. Uh, that's not what we want to see, but... It, it's going to fuel us for these last three packs. So if we get a limited, that'll be fire. All right? I don't know what else to say. I mean pretty mid opening but we had some good conversation we talked it's honestly the best dialogue i've ever i don't know what you call it but the best i've ever spoken in a video all right um last pack don't give me an 86 classic ea i should have asked for an 86 then maybe they would give me an 88 all right well nothing really to review pretty garbage we may have made back half our training it is what it is man um I'm not tripping. You know, we're going we're gonna to bounce back. We always do. That's what we say whenever we have a bad opening. Unless we lose, like, millions and millions of coins. Probably lost a good 500K there. All right, I eat 500K for real breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And midnight snack. Don't forget about the midnight snack. The video was 19 minutes. That's about what I would want it to be. Um, this video is coming soon, okay? There's going to be more than 15 of these packs because we just got so many 86s from the opening. Um, there'll probably be about 25 or 30 of them. So, I don't, Madden's about to crash on me. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get hype. You know, big weekend for football. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys want to see. Who you guys want to see win. Who you guys think is going to win. Let's just talk some football in the comments, baby. I'll let you guys know uh, if I'm uploading anything crazy. Let me know what you guys want to see. This is a very long outro. I'm just going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and bye.